on, April. Come on, girl. <laughs> okay. It's all now. See if you make me laugh. I can't do it, Renee. Okay. <laughs> it's all about the mouth portion. You think I can do it justice? Yeah. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. I'm Dr. Renee Allen, the People's MC with Sisters to Sister 2.0 with Jamie Foster Brown. Thank you for tuning in and please follow us on Facebook, Sister to Sister 2.0 and on Instagram, The Real Sister to Sister 2.0. Hey, I'm so excited to have April Parker Jones join us who plays Natalie on Tyler Perry's television drama, If Loving You Is Wrong on the OWN Network. Welcome, 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 yeah. welcome, April. <laughs> isn't, this, isn't this technology amazing, Renee? Yeah. That we can have this conversation, we can see each other and the rest of the world can see us. We don't have to be right next to each other physically. I'm blown away by technology. I still am. Learning. Yeah. I'm still learning, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining Sister to Sister 2.0. We love you, we celebrate you, and we are cheering for you as you do so much in the acting world. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Hey, let's start by sharing with us how this all started for you. How did acting get in your blood? Gosh, at the ripe old age of five years old. <laughs> I, I really, I did my first stage play. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I did my first stage play uh, at, a, at a local recreation center. It was called The Tortoise and the Hare. And I mean, it was eons ago, but I can remember that feeling that I got at five years old of when I was on that stage and the electricity that I felt from the audience. And I knew then, okay, you know what? This has got to be a part of my life forever. I didn't necessarily think I was going to make a career out of it, but I knew it had to be a part of my life. Um, fast forward, doing plays at church, plays uh, in high school, at an awesome high school I went to in Durham, Hillside High School, then on to an HBCU, North Carolina Central University. Yes. Yes. Decided to study theater there. Uh, uh, went there for a few years and decided to leave before I graduated. Moved to New York. I said, I'm going to be a Broadway <laughs> actress, honey. I'm moving to New York. Um, things didn't go quite as planned, but I did do quite a few plays there. Got a chance to meet my husband there uh, doing, a, doing a play. And we decided, you know what? Why don't we try our luck at L.A. in, in, a, in a film and television career? So we moved in 2005. To Los Angeles and uh, right away I was blessed to book an agent uh, and they started sending me out for work. I'm with that same agency today. Fast forward about 10 years after I signed with that agency, I was blessed to audition for Tyler Perry for If Love wow. Was Wrong. And uh, yes. it was my first audition, my first role as a series regular on a, on a, on a show mm -hmm. to book. So uh, and five seasons later, now we live here in Atlanta <laughs> uh, and uh, we're, we're part of this burgeoning entertainment industry here in the southeastern region of the world and it's out of the country yeah and it's been an awesome ride Renee I can't wait to see what God got in store next <laughs> I can't wait to oh, see <laughs> he has a lot in store for you sis look you starred you've mentioned some things but you have starred in some of the most popular te television shows like Jericho um Supergirl um how to get away with murder how does that differ from if loving you is wrong the main difference from those shows compared to If Loving You Was Wrong is the type of character that I, I get to play on If Loving You Was Wrong. So typically with most shows that I've been on in, in Hollywood, they, they, they kind of all have a similar type. And those types are uh, women in kind of uh, positions of authority, uh, military uh, leaders, uh, detectives, um, real button up uh, characters. Natalie, on the other hand, you know, she gets to, she doesn't have to wear a uniform. She gets to wear regular <laughs> clothes. Uh, although she is no nonsense, but she gets to show a lot more layers of emotions. Um, a lot more than I've, I've been able to show in, in other roles. So I'm so grateful for this role because it, 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 is, it allows me to show a range of, of my capacity uh, as an artist. So I, I, I give thanks to uh, Tyler Perry for trusting me to give life to Natalie. It's been yes, 
Well, Sister to Sister 2.0 gives thanks to Tyler Perry as well. And thanks to you for depicting a single mom in such a badass way. <laughs> Somebody got to do it. I, yes. I, I love it. I love that Natalie is so relatable mm -hmm. to so many women. You know, Renee, sometimes I'll go to the grocery store, to Walmart, and people will really literally stop me and go, girl, you remind me auntie okay i got an auntie just like you yeah. <laughs> so that's so cool to know it's refreshing to mm -hmm. to be able to for, for them to be able to see a character like that on tv and go i know somebody just like that uh and i i'm grateful that that i've been able to depict it in a in a, in a real uh, relatable way yes absolutely and this is going on your fifth season right this is going on the fifth and final season fifth and final the fifth and final season and uh, and i say to that thank you Thank you to the loyal, loyal supporters of Tyler Perry uh, and to If Loving You Is Wrong. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. Most shows on Hollywood don't go five seasons. Mm -hmm. you know, these shows, and I know, I mean, I've, I've, I've been on sh over 30 different television shows in Hollywood, and they come and go. To, to go beyond one season is truly a blessing. So to be in a show that went five seasons? Yes, ma'am. I'm elated and grateful. Ooh, grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Just grateful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I heard you talk about your husband. How many children do you have? We have uh, two girls. We actually, actually, I birthed two girls. We share five. Mm -hmm. I, I birthed two girls. They live in the house with us. Uh, two girls, 10 years old and 20 years old. So they're 10 year gap. So they're on both ends of the spectrum. The 10 year old is sitting right over there staring at me. Go ahead on justice. <laughs> That's the one I just met, right? That's the one you just met, justice. Tech, uh, yeah, it's a tech girl. <laughs> The tech girl. She had so many other awesome things about her. And then, of course, my 20-year-old, who was like my, my mini-me. Um, and it's been so cool to be a, a mom to these two girls. They've taught me so much, and they continue to teach me so much. I'm, I'm so grateful to be a mom. It's one of the greatest blessings in my life. Yes, I feel the same way. The reason why I brought that up is because you, uh, you, you're, you're standing on just in the world, you know, depicting a single mom in such a great way, yet you're not a single mom. Right. And so I want you to, to, to talk to the single moms of Sister to Sister 2.0. Give them some advice of how that made you feel and what you feel that the single mom should have gotten out of that role. Ooh, that is such a great question. And I'm so glad you asked. I grew up in a, a home that was ran by a single mom. So I was able to pull from that experience. I was a single mom at one point with my oldest daughter for a small amount of time. But I will say what I want most for people to get out of watching Natalie on If Loving You Is Wrong is that although you be, may be a mom who is single, you don't have to be a single mother because mm -hmm. there are fathers there and there are fathers who want to be in that child's life but it's up to us as women and as sing women who are single to allow them to play their part as a father. Tell it, even tell if, it. Even if they ain't paying child support like you want, even if they're not living the life that you think that they should live, they still help to make that child and they still deserve a chance to be in that child's life. We got to put our pride and our ego and our uh, control mechanisms, self-control in, in, in check and say, wait a minute, what is best for this child? What's best for this child, in my opinion, is for mommy and daddy to be in that child's life, even if mommy and daddy ain't together. Huh. Period. Oh, yes. Oh, Get me started, are. Renee. No, no. I feel so passionate about that subject because, you know, I, you know like I said, my husband and I, we, we have a blended family. Mm -hmm. And I've always made it my business to make sure that as, 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 as a stepmom that I played my position, I, I, I try not to interfere too much with what he has going on with raising his wonderful kids, my kids too, uh, and vice versa. I've never kept my oldest daughter away from her dad and never will. That's not my job. Glory to God. That's not my job to do that. And Natalie does a, does a great job with allowing her family. It's a blended family Natalie has. You know, um, so she's done a great job and Tyler's done a great job of depicting that character as saying, okay, look, we're all in this together. Even though Lucian is not your, is not your father, your biological father, he's still a man and he's still in this house and he still deserves respect. Yep. Yes. Oh, we could do a whole nother interview. Oh, huh? <laughs> Come on now, April. That is true. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, you are so a thank you because women need to hear that, you know, and men need to step up regardless. Yes. You know? Regardless, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, we all want to know this question. How is it really to work with Tyler Perry? Oh, Tyler Perry. <laughs> it is, it's a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Listen, you've got a man here who has decided that he's going to live his life by taking the limits off what God can do. 
Mm. And in doing that, he showed us that you can have an entire empire uh, and you can have ownership of your content. There's so, he's still shown us so many things by, by just having that supernatural faith that he, that he has. And I think that's the main thing that the main takeaway that I have with work with Tyler Perry mm -hmm. is just his supernatural faith in God. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I see it manifested with so many things. And look, he writes and directs every single episode of our show and all the other shows that have his name on it. Yeah, he's there for every he's there for every episode that we shoot to direct it. Um, he's never called in sick, so uh, all uh, you know, I'm so grateful to him, and I and I hope you know how uh, he knows how how inspiring he's been to me and so many. It's been it's been a dream come true. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Um, you know, speaking of a man of God, he was on Instagram with he's got the whole world in his hands. Did yes, you, did you join in on that challenge? You know I, I thought maybe I'd whistle it because I'm probably a better whistler than I am a singer. <laughs> You get a, <laughs> look, you get a chance to do that right now, sister to sister. Two oh, no. Hold on, April. Come on, girl. <laughs> okay. It's all, now, see, if you make me laugh, I can't do it, Renee. Okay. <laughs> it's all about the mouth portion. You think I can do it, Justice? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was so weird. Oh, he, so weird. oh, he can add that one on there for sure. That was amazing. <laughs> so no, I didn't join in, but but thank you. I kind of joined in the back door with you all. So thank you. <laughs> you had it. You're welcome. Listen, how speaking of you look like you're having a blast over there. I met your daughter, you're talking about your family. Let us know at Sister to Sister 2.0 how you are dealing with this quarantine girl. Oh, I'm having a blast. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I say that in a way to be inspiring to those who may not. Mm -hmm. um, I choose to look at life with the glass half full. Mm -hmm. And I, I've always been that way. Uh, I mean, you know, of course it fluctuates, but luckily I have a great team around here who also looks at life through a glass half full perspective. And with that, I go, look at this awesome time to just chill out. You know, really. Yeah. I, I actually read a book for the first time in years from beginning to end. Wow. I, you know, I, I actually have time to spend, quality time to spend with, with justice. And mm -hmm. now she's learning to, to play the piano and, and we can work on projects together. I can actually go in there and cook a full meal. So <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm having a blast. I, I want to say your, to your viewers and your readers, you know, don't take advantage of this time. Mm -hmm. Don't take this time for granted. Um, we aren't in control, but the divine is, and all good things will come out of this as long as we keep the faith and a allow ourselves to use this time to, to reset and repurpose and rest. And if you need to rest, rest. <laughs> really, just, just wake up at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning if you need to, but use this time to recharge your battery. Everything mm -hmm. will be all right. It's going to all work out. I Let's love it. You had a lot of R's there. Rest, <laughs> reset, recharge. Come on now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Read, read, pick up a book. Y'all read something. <laughs> so it was so good to read a book. I mean, I literally sat outside and read a book. It took me about a week to read a book from beginning to end. It was awesome. So yeah, mm -hmm. thank you for asking that. You are so welcome. Listen, what is next for April Parker Jones? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna learn how to. I'm gonna learn how to use this computer. That's what's next. I'm gonna learn how to. You know, you can do green screen. Right? I could do green screen. Okay, I'm gonna learn how to use this computer properly. Um, in addition to that, um, uh, right now I'm also on another show. It's called SWAT on CBS. So yeah, I was able. Yeah. To, I was able to shoot a little bit of that before the quarantine. Tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. that, that episode airs tomorrow, mm -hmm. so I'll be promoting that. Promoting it, the final season of If Loving You Is Wrong, mm -hmm. and uh, and working on me and more uh, more mm -hmm. self love and uh, I trust God. And I know, this, I know that the best is yet to come. I know he's got some awesome things in store for me. So I, my job is to stay ready so I ain't got to get ready. Yes, ma'am. So that's what that is. Just enjoying this moment because the present is a gift. Indeed. <laughs> indeed. Is there anything else you would like to share with Sister to Sister 2.0? Oh, gosh. You guys, just as we're going through this time, like I said earlier, don't worry. Fear and faith don't dwell in the same place. Let's keep the faith during this time. It will all work out. This will be a thing of the past. And remember, I know 2020 got started a little bit rocky, but mm -hmm. it ain't how you start, it's how you finish. 
And we're going to finish strong. Ooh, we're going to yes, finish strong. Girl. We're going to finish. Let's see the muscles. Let's see the muscles, girl. Come on. We're going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong. Damn. You got some real muscles. Hey, I'm trying to keep it together. Exercise. That's another thing y'all can do during this quarantine. Exercise yeah. your mind, your body, and your spirit. This yeah, is my time. son Chase is trying to get me to, to exercise, but I... You got this? Take, 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 take a walk around the neighborhood. Start there. Mm -hmm. I shall. Thank you so much, April Parker Jones. Thank and you. best to you and everything that you do. Keep in touch with us. We love you here at Sister to Sister 2.0. Love you too. And thank you so much, Renee. <laughs> Hi there. I'm April Parker Jones from Tyler Perry's If Loving You Is Wrong. And I am on Sister to Sister 2.0.